Well, you know, people have this opinion about wolves that is either really, really good or really, really bad, which I really don't understand. The wolf keep owner, Kara Bach, says wolves are misunderstood by most people. <laughs> wolves are a valuable part of the ecosystem, just like any animal. But they're not, you know, they're not to either be put on a pedestal or demonized. And so we try to basically here at the Wolf Keep allow people to see wolves in a quasi-natural environment and make their own decisions, you know. U of M student Jenny Gassman says she volunteers at the Wolf Keep for selfish reasons. I want to become better friends with these people and these animals. It just seems like Montana to me, and it seems like something that needs to be kept alive and strong and... I want to make sure that happens. Box affection for the wolf shows in the care he gives them, and they return in kind. He hopes that care will make a difference. How does dog become our our best friend, and wolf become our worst enemy? How does that work? You know, I mean, it's basically dogs and extras package, right? You know, I mean, you've met them now; they're freaking sweethearts. <laughs> Buck has been doing this since 1997 when the first four wolves arrived. He now has 10 pure Arctic and gray wolves as well as several hybrids. Reporting for UM News, I'm Owen Brown.